lot of them are pretty abstract. I mean, are abstract. The ones that, you know, seem to be selecting in the end. There, you know, there's very few people in them, and there's more, it's more about kind of symbols or concentrated little whatever, you know, visual things. And it's great because, you know, when you start in something like photography, you're, you know, you, those are the kind of things you tend to draw and be drawn to right away. And then the more you do it over time, you, you know, you start to diverge from that. So it's, it's, uh, it really does feel like that. It feels like kind of like starting over and, and shooting square too. I never used to, they're all square images. Shooting square forces you to look at things differently, frame things differently. It's been healthy in that way. Maybe it. Just, I have noticed, like when I'm photographing a person, there's something that's much more easy about it when yeah, you're in that yeah. posture because it's not. It's much less confrontational. Um, well, it's essentially, you know, I mean, I see my role more or less as, like you say, a reporter. And the idea is to report about this part of California, what's going on in towns like this in Mendota. And, you know, to be the person who can, to a certain extent, it's not about me. You know, it's about giving a voice to these communities, these towns, these people that often don't have one. So, you know, through my photography, I've been able to, to do that. And that's what I see my role as, as doing, is representing these communities, these places, this part of California, um, and to try to get some attention, focus on what the needs are, et cetera.